Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now today we're going to be touching base on my entire collection of killer clowns. I've got some Funko Pops and i got some Toonie Terrors. Uh, this is the latest one, it is Fatso. As you can see, it is not in the box because I actually took it out. We're going to show you that in a second here. I'm going to show you some of the details to it. And I'm going to show you the other uh, figures that I have as part of this video. And I'm also going to show you the actual, um, not, I don't have the popcorn gun, but I do have um, the other gun. I can't remember what they called it. Cotton candy gun. There we go. Woo! Little brain fart there. Sorry, guys. But anyway, we're going to touch base on that. So what we're going to do is look at the box, and then I'm going to shut it down, and I'm going to show you the actual figure in itself. And then we we'll go through the other figures, and then eventually we'll get into the uh, cotton candy gun, okay? I do want to get a hold of that popcorn gun because I think that's cool looking. But it's like $100 for that gun, okay? To me, that's just a little too pricey. But anyway, let's look at the box here real quick. Alright, first of all, let's get this out of the way. Alright, let's see, that's, it's for fat, so, okay. Funko Pop. Now, I actually ordered this on Amazon for like $10. And it was not part of the collection that I had. I happened to notice it. It's like, oh, well, I'm going to need to add that to the collection. That's what I did. So. All right. That's the box number. E.T.'s fought so. All right. All right. Top of the box. It says pop. Sorry about the shadow. All right. All right, and then there's the bottom, a bunch of writing on it, okay. Turn it over so you can actually see it. My shadowing here. All right, enough about that. Let's just go straight into the actual figure. I won't shut it down, so we're going to keep it on. I'm going to show you what it looks like, okay. Now, you'll notice he does have the cotton candy gun here. All right. Which I've seen, I think, it's been a while since I've seen the movie. Where some of them, like I think Slim, actually uses a cotton candy gun, which I'm going to show you the Toonie Terror version. I think they all probably use them or something. I don't know. But that is Fatso. This is the Funko Pop version of it, okay? Oops, get that shadowing out of there. Alright. Oh, that's pretty cool stuff there. Got the little candy box. All right. Very cool colors on this thing too. I mean, they're not super bright, but they're pale. But they got they're comfortable to look at. All right. And enough about this guy. All right. Turn it on and let it spin. Well, I show you the other ones, okay? All right. Now, some of these I don't know the names because I kind of try to look up, look them up. Like this guy right here. I'm not sure what his name is. Maybe you guys uh, can let us know who he is in the comment sections below, okay? Kind of reminds me of Spikey in a way, but maybe not. I don't know. Now these are Funko Pops. Very cool the way they did his hair and stuff. I like this movie and I heard through the grapevine that they're in the process of actually doing another Killer Clowns movie but it's been in hiatus and uh, for the longest time so I don't know if they're actually getting going to process it or not. I don't know what's going on with that situation. But, again, I hear they're getting ready to do a new movie on it. Okay. Like I said, this guy here, I'm not sure who he is, but if you know, let me know in the comments section below, guys. Put you up here with the rest of this. Don't push him. Don't do that. 
Shorty. Okay. Now there is an animatronic of Shorty. It's like $100 for that thing. And it moves around and stuff like that. Dark Dimensions is a um, YouTuber who is big into killer clowns. And I'm talking big. He collects those things big time. Okay, I'll leave a link down below for his uh, YouTube channel. You might want to check it out because he does have an ungodly amount of uh, videos based on the killer clowns. Along with t-shirts, everything. They got all kinds of stuff. Bracelets. Yeah, they, they're big time collectors. Alright, alright, that's shorty, okay? Shorty, shorty. Put you right there. Alright. Now let me do one thing first, guys. Let me adjust this a little bit. There we go. And now this guy here, again, I don't know his name, I can't remember. Uh, again, you guys can help me out with that. Okay. I think it's Fatso's brother or something. I'm not really positively sure. He's got a big hammer too. It's hammer time. Okay. Alright. Cool. Cool. Alright. Put him up there. Now we're going to get into the Toonie Terrors, okay? This guy here, uh, the name escapes me, but he is a Toonie Terror. Now, you'll notice the pie here. I actually glued it to the hand because every time I would walk by, it would slip off his hand. So I said, let's nah, just glue it to his hand. It's just for display purposes anyway, so. Most of them I don't even know the names because I've seen the movie every once in a while. And I have it sitting on my hard drive and I watch it every so often, you know. But I'm not totally familiar with all the clowns. But they are a very cool concept because I love clowns. Okay, a lot of people are freaked out by clowns. Not me. They don't bother me like that. I think they're cool. They're very colorful too. Especially the evil ones, okay. This is a Toonie Terror. Now I've got a few of uh, Trick or Treat Studios versions of these guys coming through. There's three characters. I think it's Slim, maybe this guy, and Shorty. Uh, they'll be coming in once the pre-orders are there. But anyway, this guy here, I can't remember his name. Okay. Hi. Hi. Alright, but anyway. Put him off to the side here. You give you Slim now. He's the tallest one of the bunch next to Clownzilla. Okay. But that movie is very cool because it's nothing but clowns from outer space. That was a very cool concept when they did that. Again, the cotton candy gun. Okay. The articulation of these Toonie Terrors, their arms do move, but that's pretty much it. And maybe the head, yeah, the head does move a little bit. Okay. Put him off to the side. Now we're going to get into this dude here. It's a cocoon, I think they call it. I'm not sure. But it comes with the, uh, the Toonie Terrors. And this, the two that I just showed you are actual double pack, I believe. And I ended up getting them for a certain amount of money. But it, it came with this guy too. There is a full blown. Um, not a figure but. Um, not an animal. Prop. Prop. That represents this thing too. I've seen people with them. Alright. Got a little hook in there. I just leave it hanging on my uh, thumbtack on my shelf. And it looks good. Alright. Oh! Enough about these guys. Let's get into... I'm going to pull this back. Let's get into the gun. 
the cotton candy gun that you get from Spirit Halloween. Now, I've got videos on here that shows this gun by itself, and, and another video shows uh, with the Funko Pops and stuff like that. As you can see, it does spin. And I'm going to show you what it looks like when I light it up. All right, it's got the switch right there. All right. Won't work until you turn it on, okay? But it's a very colorful gun. Uh, there is different variations of this gun. Um, I think I've seen one more, but they, it was a little different, a little more pricier than the Spirit Halloween version. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and turn that on. All right, now, are you ready? I'm going to pull that back. Here we go. This gun is so cool, it's ridiculous. Up real cool anyway that is my collection when it comes to the um, killer clown so far like I said I got some um, uh, trick-or-treat studios versions coming in and I'm gonna still keep on collecting on these things because they're actually starting to come into uh, popularity and people are you know jumping on the merchandise franchise when it comes to these guys and they're making all kinds of stuff out there and there's some pretty cool stuff out there but anyway don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell and I will see you guys at the very next video.